Just days before Christmas, a Northside woman was hit by a driver who ran a red light and just kept going. Tonight, her family is pleading for that driver to turn him or herself in. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar spoke with the family. He joins us live in Belmont Cragen tonight with a story you'll see only on 2. Charlie? Rob, good evening. A possible break in this case could come from a red light camera that's positioned right at that intersection. Right now, police are analyzing any possible video from that red light camera in the hopes of making an arrest and bringing whoever is responsible into custody. At North and Pulaski, the ripped up road send drivers racing through a rugged stretch of the northwest side. The car just went and all she felt was her um, on the ground. Alma Casas and her sister Gabriela sit on either side of their mom. Flora Berrigan now wearing a boot for her badly injured foot. Berrigan's English is limited, but her injuries are mounting. What kind of human just does not stop and make sure the person's okay? It was back at that busy intersection, Berrigan running across the street to catch a bus for work. He passed a red light. It has to be something going on there. Police say a gray sedan ran the red light, hit Bear again, and then... And at that point where he swerved around her, he realized, hey, I hit something. The car knocked her to the ground. Berrigan's coat filthy from the fall, and she was still in danger. Cars were still driving. They didn't stop. Like, nobody stopped. The hit and run happening just days before Christmas. This family hoping whoever drove off will give the gift of justice and turn themselves in. And he almost stole my Christmas. He almost, you know, when my mom was almost gone because of what happened. And Berrigan says along with the driver, she's asking anyone who witnessed that hit and run to come forward with any information that could help police. We are live tonight from the Chicago Police Department's 25th District. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Rob. Okay, Charlie, thank you.